Hello friends and welcome back to another video. In this one we are going to talk about the web developer path we've been taking and in general a path someone might take to become a web developer. So if you are familiar with my channel you know that I have this playlist called web developer path in which we cover HTML, CSS and JavaScript but we want to know what's next. So of course you need to know the basics of UI and UX design and also as a programmer, you need to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Focusing on UI and UX, which is user interface and user experience, can be a whole different path, but you still need to know the basics. But as a programmer, we've already covered HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and I thought this is a good place to include this presentation to talk about the next steps, because from here on, it can get a bit complicated and overwhelming. So basically, we have two choices to become a front-end developer or a back-end developer, or both of them, which means a full-stack developer. As a front-end developer, you need to know all about CSS and JavaScript. And with CSS, you can use plain CSS, you can use preprocessors like SAS or frameworks like Tailwind, which we have been using. And when it comes to JavaScript frameworks, we have an ocean of frameworks which can be overwhelming at first, but the popular ones are Vue.js, React, and Angular. On this path, we are going to start with Vue.js. In future videos, we will cover other frameworks as well. And I will talk about this uh, danger sign next to JavaScript frameworks at the end of this video. But when it comes to backend, we need to know a language that can communicate with the server. So there are languages like Python, PHP, Ruby, and Java, and so on. But uh, we will start with PHP and then with Laravel as a framework. And then for database, we will use MySQL. But in future videos, again, we will cover a different route, which will go through Python, Django, and so on. But in general, you need to know a language so you can pick your favorite or whichever you like. And then you can use a framework if you want to, because frameworks make our job easier. And of course, you need to know a bit about databases and how to communicate with them. And of course, you need to know some other skills which are very useful on your path. So for example, version control, like working with Git in package management, uh, working with Docker or NPM, which is basically Node, and knowing how to make APIs or communicate with APIs, which we already kind of know how to do it, like when we used in the YouTube video and called the YouTube API using Fetch API, which was part of JavaScript. And of course, you need to know about web security at least a bit, because when you work with the back end, there is always the question of security. But keep in mind, all these topics can be a full time job, and it would take a lot of time to know all about these different topics. But basically, that's the path someone might take to become a full stack web developer or a front end or a back end, whichever you like most. Now, let's talk about this frameworks hell, which refers to JavaScript frameworks and I pulled up this image from lambdatest.com that covers some of the J JavaScript frameworks and if you're not familiar with any framework it can be very difficult to choose from all these frameworks that are out there because we don't know which one is the right one we don't know what's the difference for example in the beginning I didn't even know why there are so many what's the why we have so many JavaScript frameworks what's the point so you can see here we have several JavaScript frameworks. And one thing we need to keep in mind, they all do the same thing, especially like these powerful ones. They all they are all used in building single page applications that can be very useful today. And knowing one of them can be enough for your web developing career. So if I know, for example, Vue.js, if I know how to build up an application with Vue.js, I don't need to know React because Vue.js is doing the same thing. But of course, if I want to learn, I can go and learn React and use it, for example, with, for other purposes like uh, uh, app development with uh, React Native and so on. But my suggestion is to take one and stick with it and master that one framework. And on the side, you can learn all about these things. But that one framework, for example, for me is Vue.js, that one framework can be your to go framework for every project you want to make out there. For example, all these websites that I pulled up, Vue.js, Tailwind, Laravel, they all use something on the back end, right? They all use some program or framework on the back end, but as a user, we don't care because all we need, all we want is the information we get from this website. It doesn't matter how they communicate with the server. It doesn't matter how they present their data. All it matters that it works. And that's the whole point. We want to make websites that are functional and they work and they are user-friendly. And in a nutshell, that is being a web developer. And that's it. 
So again, for our future videos, we will start with Vue.js and we will talk about Vue.js in a few episodes and then we will jump to PHP and Laravel and onwards. So thanks for watching again and thank you for all your likes, subscribes, views and shares and all your support. See you at the next one. Bye bye.